A lot of the blame Goes rests with someone. people like yourself. Thank not you, you very Not much. you personally, but people no. like yourself. We do those kind of programs. I think, well, Alan and I have been chatting away to Alan here, and he came up with a very valid point, which is that the language has evolved. And, you know, I mean, like the, sh the, the thing we saw before with uh, the footballing commentator, mm -hmm. you know, that was very sort of 50s, was it? Yes, And it everyone was. on and television spoke like that. And it related to people probably sure. in that day and age. Well, it related to some well, people. I have to, yeah. I mean, you have to talk generally, really. But, I mean, if you look at the, the kids in this day and age, if I'm going to communicate with them, then I have to be on their level. Yeah. Now, you and come from Essex, right? And I'm not making any jokes, right? <laughs> but, no, you have to tell them. But I think where you come from is important in this is good. You come oh, from yeah. Essex. You've modified your accent to, I have. to appear on television. So, it, again, I, I see a contradiction in what you're saying. You're saying, I've got to communicate with young but people. But also, I moved from Essex and I went to Manchester about ten years ago, so okay. it was a lot to do with that as well. So you're confused. But okay. I, Yeah, I am, basically. <laughs> but the thing is, if I do, I do all sorts of different children's programs. I do factual programs to different age groups. Now, if I do a factual program, I know it's going out to eight to twelve-year-olds. I, my first priority when I look at my script is, okay, how's it going to sound? I must get it grammatically correct. I must speak, you know, um, a bit better than normal. However, if I do a live Saturday morning show called Gimme Five, and it's the kids' weekend off, and they just want me to be Jen on the street as they talk in the playground, then I won't think mm. about it so much. Well, and I think that's fair enough, really. You're a Training teacher? The training English teacher. Training yes. English teacher, even more qualified to speak <laughs> on the subject. Oh, many people would say that, bless her, what Jenny does at, even at the weekend is not what they want to, their, their children to hear. Mm. What do you say? Well, the problem is there's a lot of snobbery about it, of course. Um, I had to say honestly that the thing we're striving for really in this society is uh, kids that are confident, kids that can express themselves, kids that feel good in themselves, be that in local accents, local dialects or whatever. I mean, you think of all the things we were told when we were little, speak when you're spoken to, children should be uh, seen and not heard. All the time kids are being told not to speak, not to feel good about themselves. And if you go into places, schools or whatever, and a teacher's saying to you, uh, uh, Nina Mishkos says, no double negatives, mm. They say, what? and they all go quiet and they're all nervous. You don't breed the confidence. It's even school nowadays, teachers stand at the front, and even if they don't want to, they have to talk to the kids. Kids are talked to by adults, they talk down to. The kids have only got themselves to talk to. Is, is there a point? You're gone, sorry. Yeah, just one thing. I mean, it isn't just about language either. It's about communication. It's about it just getting young people to express themselves. Whether they get their words all muddled up a little, and they don't, you know, mind their P's and Q's, doesn't matter. The fact is they're expressing themselves and they're communicating and that's a I think positive excuse. thing. That's okay, excuse. let me go back to the teachers. I mean, you, you are the people who, who uh, certainly in the past, you're a former teacher, aren't you, would, it, would have, I presume, disagreed with what this gentleman has just said? In the past I would, yes. But we, we've heard two, two words used a lot this morning. Kids is one. Um, on what's being discussed here, and more sort of the soaps and the dramas, yes. where it is, you know, sort of like true to life. Well, they're, they're, yes, that's what they would argue. Precisely, they would argue they're reflecting the society that the, yeah. the story is so about. It's a bit of a, endle you know, it's going round and round. Whose fault is it? Do you think it's more important that children know the difference? and are able to identify the two different Of course they do, aspects. yeah. That's okay. the that's the they speak part. differently. When they go to grannies, they speak really exactly. well. I should, well, I do. Depends on their granny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, lady on the back row, right, in the middle. Well, I was born in Lancashire in a place called Earlham. I know. Now, I know. since I was a young child, I came with my parents to Norwich, and I was very proud of my Lancashire accent, and still am proud of it. But over the years, Norfolk has evolved mm -hmm. and very often you're pinpointed as a Norfolk dumpling or a Swede bash. Mm -hmm. But I still think that my roots were in Lancashire and you... I'm very proud of that fact. Yeah, I can pick up a fascinating combination of the two then. Yes. Okay. And, and look, I think, don't I mean, accents surely are the very spice of our language, aren't they? They're, they're, I mean, every, every nation has, has accents and dialects and surely we should, we should do our best to preserve them to some degree or other, as long as we're able to communicate and make ourselves clear, shouldn't we? Well, there's, there's, there's two strands uh, that, that I want to bring in there. First, Jenny just touched on it now, the fact that um, kids can generally actually communicate properly. Um, about 11% of people in England use what's called standard English and about 3% use RP, received pronunciation. But if you actually see the kids' written work, they actually write properly, they can do it. And that's the important thing, that they can write. Thing. I, I've got to be terrible to interrupt you and say thanks very much to all our participants, uh, however they spoke and wherever they're from. And uh, thanks uh, again uh, to you at home for watching. Great discussion, fascinating uh, conversation. But sadly, uh, like all good things, it has to come uh, to an end. Oh, you're over there. Uh, so, if you wherever you are at home, thanks very much indeed uh, for being with us. And thanks uh, very much indeed to all our audience here in Norwich. Until next time, bye-bye. Thanks a lot. <laughs>